Well, how are you guys? Hi. Hi, Gretchen. Hi. Hey, I have oh, Mr. Raphael. Hi, Raphael. I miss you. I have Giselle, Hi. Mr. Alejandro Pleites, uh, Miss Jeanette Ajala. Yes. Oh, Mr. Miguel Franco, Alex. Woohoo! I do have Angel, my man, Angel. Very good. I love your curly hair, Rachel. I love it. <laughs> oh, really nice. All righty. Okay. Whoa. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing so far? How was your day so far? Was it good? Great, great, great. Yeah, great. I'm not going to ask Alex because Alex has yeah. the same routine all over again, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> all righty, very good. But okay. yesterday we haven't seen Mr. Rafael Herrera. So tell me, Mr. Herrera, tell us, how was your day? It was excellent. Um, mm -hmm. I have a good news today because really? I have an interview. Yeah, I have an interview for a job. Yay! Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> Great yeah. job! Hey, congratulations, Rafa! Thank Yay. you, thank you. So um, I hope they hire me. <laughs> yes, we too. If they, if they will, maybe I'll start Monday. So I hope. Oh, yes, but hopefully you'll be on time for English classes, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, yes, I, I, don't, I don't connect to yesterday because I have some problem with my internet. Oh, okay, okay got it. But I think it's a little bit claro. I, I called him and I called him and they fixed it up. So that... oh, yes, I know how it is because I use internet a lot for my work. And when yeah. I don't have it, like, oh, frustrated. Yeah. yeah. One time oh, I got to go to oh. my mom's house, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> like in a faster way with all my equipment. And I told my, my boss, you know what? This and this and this happened already. Turn on my router, turn in. I plug it out, plug it in, and nothing happens. So, uh, oh. but, yeah, and I already tried to give a, um, internet from my cell phone, but to be honest with you, that capacity is not the same, right? <laughs> so, and I cannot, I cannot have inter internet from my phone because uh, I live close, uh, how do you say, like a jail? Like oh, a yes, a jail, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. so I, for I secure reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have problem with the with the with the sign. Yes, I understand that. So in my case, no, I can't do it. But can you imagine they will consume all my data, right? <laughs> so yeah. I had to I had to move to my mom's house and say my mom said, hey, What are you doing here? Hello, mom. <laughs> I came here and I had to continue working, right? So I can you imagine a CPU, the um, electricity level the two monitor that keyboard that mouse because i use two monitors i do not use one I use two. Oh yeah yes yeah. so can you imagine i was like but the really good thing that my mama made the lunch <laughs> and also a cup of coffee <laughs> yeah. in the afternoon so i remember those days when i was single <laughs> exactly <laughs> that will never come back <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah those were really good days you know yeah and of course guys i miss mama's kitchen right mama's yeah. kitchen is the best yeah so i love it and you know what she was really happy to have me at home yeah, yeah. I so. always always i think that uh even though you're getting older and you can have children uh, but if your mom or your dad is still alive you will always be their kids, right? No matter what. Yeah. yeah. No matter yeah, what. Right. Every time that she can, she approached to my husband and said, She's still my girl, my baby girl. You take <laughs> her out from me. I was like, oh. <laughs> he, and, and, and he said, What she said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time she said like that, she, my mother is the one that goes straight to the point with nothing on her mouth. Like oh, she wow. said what she thinks. I'm like, what? Yeah. 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 Can you imagine? And they're already past 15 years. <laughs> well, almost 15 years. And she continues saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but she loves him. She loves him, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. They have a really good relationship. They do. Yeah, I think what? she. Yeah, sometimes I think she loves him better than me, but I don't know. 
yeah. Yeah. yeah, she treat him like his his son, like her son. It's oh. really really good. Yeah. And That's for cool. my husband is her as his second mom as well. All right. Yeah, so you know what? Every time that we visit her, of course, we visit her with the puppies, right? With chestnut and whiskey. <laughs> Because they mm -hmm. have to be there because they have to visit her, uh, them granny, right? The grand, the grandma, the granny. So oh. yeah, of course she's. She always asks, "Are you going to bring the dogs?" Yes, of course, right? Mm -hmm. So they are. They are start barking. They start barking, even okay. though they are inside a, the car. They start barking just to tell the, to tell her, you know what? We are here. Open the door. And when oh. she opens the door, they jump into into uh, legs. Just to say hi, Grandma. And every time she cooks, she cooks for us and she cooks for them. Yes. Oh. Of course. If she's going to do something special, she knows that uh, she doesn't have to put some condiments and a lot of things because for them it's bad, right? They had to eat it in a different way. But if she's a steak, if she's a fish, it is whatever, chicken, whatever. Uh, is there's a portion for them all the time. I love the puppies. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? My mother is not too uh, crazy about having uh, pets at home, but I uh, but I think uh, well, she loves animals, but not to have them at her house, right? But uh, yeah. I, I think just chestnut and whiskey are, uh, have broken her heart. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> because she loves them. Every time she goes to the supermarket. Always have to buy something for them. Always. Always, always. And um, when she goes and asks for pupusas, for example, or tamales, or whatever, it has to be one for chestnut and one for whiskey. Always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And cheese it's pupusas. Nice. It's cheese nice. pupusas, right? Nothing else. Cheese pupusas. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. This is Oh, it's nice. It is yeah. nice. She, oh, Lulu is there. Hi, Lulu. Lulu is going to join us today's class. Woohoo! Hey, yeah. baby girl. She's lovely. I love her. Oh, just she's great. Lovely. She's really she's, great. She's great. Okay, so we're going to get along together because the teacher is crazy too. <laughs> oh, you have another puppy? Oh! Look at my puppy. Yeah. What's his name, Rafa? His name is Odi. Odi, oh, and where is Garfield? Odi. Huh? Hey, where is Garfield? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. like a has a, he's like husky with chow chow. Oh, that is lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, give him a hug. Him. Give, give him a hug and a kiss from me, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, you know, we're going to do have a, a cloud where we can share all our pets, okay? That would be okay. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter what kind of pet, a house or a total, whatever. That would be nice. That would be a topic that we can talk about that. Okay, cool, guys. So All thank right. you, Lulu, for joining today's class. <laughs> okay. So how are you guys doing? So far, is it good? Yes. Yep. Are good. you ready to rock and yeah. roll? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to continue with our grammar topic, which I know that you love a lot. I know for sure. Uh, and everybody's like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. especially Tati, right? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah, but you will love it. Yeah. All the grammar you know and you understand correctly. So you see, you, you know, it's really good. It's, grammar is nice and it helps a lot. It is. So, hi, Juancito. Thank you for joining today's class. Also, Vane, thank you. Hey, and Iris, I have Iris here. Yay, very good. Okay, so have you heard about, uh, you know already about past, right? You know already about present, right? You also know about future. Uh, you already know about um, present continuous, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Of course, that's a hundred percent sure, and it's easy, right? Easy peasy, queasy. But do you know about past continuous? Past continuous. Uh huh. Do you know that it has already exist? <laughs> but any chance? <laughs> or have you ever used it? I heard something. You have heard about that. Okay, <laughs> tell heard. us, Mr. Alex, that you have heard about past continuous. What do you have heard about that? Any idea? Don't worry. 
Everybody's mm. quiet and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I really don't. So you have heard about it, but you don't know. Um, no. About it. Yeah, ah, okay, no. okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Don't worry. That's okay. We're going to learn today. That's for sure. What about you? Any Anybody else? Tati? Have you heard about past continuous? When when we when when the verb finish at e e n g well yes i n g is one of that but it's in past so how can we construct that very good but that is one yes that's good good try excellent yes it's one it's part of it but we're missing something else Rachel what what do you think we're missing I don't know. What do you think? Anybody else? Thank you, Alejandro. <laughs> uh, I think it's when, when it's an action that we do in the past, but suddenly um, stop doing that because another action, I think. Ah, uh, that is, um, remember the past continues with the simple past, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But what else? Uh-huh, guys. Oh. You don't remember. Don't tell me that you don't remember. Past continues. Uh -huh. It's about when activities start in the past and continue. Yeah. Uh-huh. So... But we, uh -huh. it happens in the past, but we still doing the, the action. Ah, this, no, no, no! You have confused it. Okay. okay, that one, the one you're talking about, that is starting the past and continuing to the present for a little bit, that calls present perfect. Mm -hmm. That calls present perfect, and it's different from past because, for example, past you start in the past and end in the past. Um, let me give you an example. Let me write it down really quickly just to make sure that we're on the same page, right? Or oh, just to do a recap, okay? Okay, let's put simple past, for example. I can say it, I'm going to write it for everybody in the chat. I lived in Costa Rica for five years, right? I lived in Costa Rica for five years. That is simple past. Why? Yeah. Because I had the verb there, lived, which is a regular yeah. verb in the past, right? Hey, I sent you the, the, the link to practice the regular verbs, right, guys? Yes. Uh-huh. Hopefully you have practiced it. <laughs> okay. Guys, could I say exactly the same thing what in present perfect? Yes, I can. Okay, let's do present perfect. Oh, the abbreviation is PP, okay? But PP is for present perfect. Don't think bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. So if I use present perfect, it will be I have lived in Costa Rica for five years. What's the difference? The first one, guys, I lived in Costa Rica for five years. That means that five years ago, I was there. But then, but, but today, um, I'm not. In the second one, I have lived in Costa Rica for five years. That means that five years ago, I arrived to Costa Rica. And right now, 2021, I'm still there. You see? Yeah. The, you, and also the second one, you can say it in a different way. So five years ago, and we're in 2001, would be like what? 2016, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can say, it. I have lived in Costa Rica since 2016. Yeah. Remember that with present perfect, we use the auxiliary have, right? Yeah. 
or has, depends of the subject, is in present. But in past, what is the past of have or has, guys? What is the past of that auxiliary? Had, had. very good. Yeah. And besides the auxiliary have, we use the verb, but in the past participle way, no in past. So yeah. lived is going to be the past participle. We can use another verb, lived, a uh, catch, a uh, song, I don't know, right? Whatever, mm -hmm. forgotten, like that. But it has to be in past participle, okay? The main verb. So I'm yeah. saying exactly in the second, in the third sentence, which is also present perfect, I'm saying exactly the same things. But I'm giving you guys the, the exactly year when I start lived in Costa Rica, okay? I have lived in Costa Rica since 2016. We are in 2021 and I'm still there. So that means guys that in 2016, I started my action living in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. 2021, I'm still there, you see? So that's the difference between present perfect and simple past. Both of them, we can talk about actions in the past, but simple past is an action that is started in the past and ends in the past. And present perfect is an action that is started in the past and is continued for a little bit in the present. Okay? Okay. That, that I want you guys to have a clear because today we're not going to talk about present perfect. We're going to talk about past perfect continuous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't like that. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 I'm not going to give you that. That, that would be hard. We're not going to talk about past perfect continuous. Don't worry, okay? Calm down. Calm down a little bit. Uh, no, it's going to be present perfect also, but present perfect continuous, okay? <laughs> so, so hi, yes, well, <laughs> not this, oh my God, but is it still hard? No, it's not hard, Tati. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. It's, you will see that it's, it is easier than it seems, okay? But I want you guys to just make clear about the difference between present perfect and simple past, because now you have like an idea of the present perfect, and, no, and you know that um, continuous is like ing, like you said, Tati, exactly like you said. But how can we construct that? Oh, somebody. Hey, who has that? Somebody has that. High volume. I don't know who is it. Is it, is it TV? I don't, yeah, but it's not my one. Who is it? I think I think it's my song. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yes, that was Tati. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. That's okay, Tati. Okay, guys, so are you ready? Yes, I know. <laughs> okay yeah so yes, let the yes. let the blood start nah, no worry you'll see that it will be easy hey mariana okay. yes go ahead who, who said teacher? Hi, teacher hey did you say something alex no yeah i'm a little confused right now because okay, okay yo, go continue. ahead like like in past continue or like uh, like an example like this no the sound the sound was shiny um, and uh, elephants, elef elephants came out from, from the jungle. Uh huh. Uh, that's uh, we're using was uh, the sun was shining. Uh huh. It's like a one action was happening in the past, and then some something else came or, or something. I know what you're talking about. You can use else. both. So you uh, can what's use happening both. At, uh -huh. at, mm -hmm. at, that, at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's like it, that it, pa it pass continue? Yeah, was was playing, was working. Yes, it's past continuous because we use the pass of the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. But don't so focus on that. I, yeah, I'm I'm going to try to explain it later on because we're going to, to see it in this model. Or also, mm -hmm. if you would like to, I can clarify that tomorrow because I will. But um to, because I know and I have I know your doubt. So you have a confusing Alex with um, simple past and the past continuous. Is that is your your question or your doubt? No, because mm -hmm. I clear what, what is a, a past as 
Mm -hmm. As it was past, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. But this past continuum is a little a little different than than that you were explaining, right? Oh no, it's because I'm not explaining the past continuous, Alex. I'm explaining right now the difference between simple past and present perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why. That's why. You know, and I'm so thank you that you asked for it because I want everybody to be clear and in the same page. Right now, I was explaining the difference between the two of them because today mm -hmm. we're going to talk about present continuous. But I want to make sure, guys, that you know how to use the present perfect, the present perfect, like the standard way, how to use them and do not confuse with the use of the simple past because we can use the two verb tenses, simple past and present perfect to talk about past things, okay? We can use them and I will, and we're going to, if you want to guys, we are going to double check that tomorrow, the uh, deeply, the simple, uh, the, the difference between the two of them so you will have like a better idea, okay? But okay. I just made a, a little sentence because I just wanted to know if you have any idea about present perfect, how you use it, or if you don't know, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I just gave you an example, guys, of one of the uses of present perfect, but we can use it for a, in a different ways and for many things. Today, what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about present perfect continuous. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Okay, so allow me just a couple of minutes and let me share it right now on my screen. And I just want to know if you guys can see it. Okay, let me check. Tell me, guys, if you're able to see my screen, please. Are you? Yeah. Right. Or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Okay. No, it's okay. It is okay? okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, what will be today's topic, Alex? Present perfect continues. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Present perfect continues. Okay. What do we use it or when do we use it? The perfect present perfect continues. Tati, can you please read it for me? Okay. Uh, present perfect continues for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its du duration. Very good. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation, Tati. So, guys, okay. we're, we're using the present perfect continuous for a repeated activity or a continuous activity that begins in the past and continues into the present. And we, why do we use it? We, we use it to emphasize that repeated activity and the duration of the activity. I will give you more examples, okay? Don't worry. Let me give you examples. Uh-huh, let me, who can read it? Angel, can you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence? Yes. Jack has been waiting for the over an hour. Okay, Jack has been waiting for over an hour. Guys, in that sentence, Jack arrives in a place, right? Or to a place. Yeah. At, yeah. at what time? We don't have a specific time, right? Know, but we yeah. know that was one hour Just ago. One hour. Okay. Ago. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, we like to emphasize the right the the waiting time of Jack. Yeah. Jack, okay, the, it start a waiting one hour ago, and yeah. one hour after, he's still waiting, right? Yeah. Okay. So you see, we're emphasizing of the duration of the activity. In this case, waiting time. Hey, and can you see, guys, that the present perfect continues? We use you see the auxiliary has. Uh -huh. has also, we uh -huh. use the past participle of the verb, in this case, be, right? It will be being. Yeah. And since it's a present con perfect continuous, that's a, the third verb that we use, it has to be in ing form. I -N -G. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the complement. Okay, let's read the second mm -hmm. sentence. Uh, Michael, can you please be so kind to read it for us? Michael, 
Mr. Oh, Michael. Sorry. Miguel. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> In Spanish. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Okay, cool. Okay. I've been studying since three o'clock. Okay. Uh, say it one more time, please. Read it one more time for me. I've been studying since three o'clock. That's what I want. In the first time, I couldn't hear the abbreviation of have. I just heard I. But the second one, you said I've. And that's what yes, it was. I, Very good. I've been. Very I've good. Been. I've been studying since three o'clock. Okay, we have a... 8.30 guys, and this and this guy is started is studying <laughs> like mm -hmm. 3 o'clock, right? So yeah. you see, guys, the action that we like to emphasize is this people of this person is started, he's studying at 3 p.m. That was passed. But yeah. right now, there's still 8.30, and this person has finished a study or is continuing studying? Continue studying. Continue studying. Continue studying. Continue studying. So you see, we're emphasizing on the action and on the duration and you yeah. see guys again we have the bird to be we have the ing the, the being right the, the past participle of the bird to be or the bird be sorry we have the ing form and then the complement but guys do me a favor this is really interesting and i want you guys to double check i don't know if you have noticed that but um let me check uh-huh why do I put an ing form here and why I didn't change it here? What's the difference between these two verbs? Uh -huh. The of causes is wait. continuous. Uh -huh. Do you remember that the regular way is wait, right? Wait. Yes. So we put waiting in the ing form, which is there. there. But in the second one, the verb is a study. Am I not supposed to change the Y for the I or no? Yes. Are you sure? Is, is, is it okay like this? No. 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 no, it is okay like this. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember uh, those rules, guys? You have to add ing. Uh -huh. Yes. Hey, I, I don't know if you remember those rules, but not for all the verbs that ends in Y, we got to mm -hmm. leave it in that way. There are some verbs that we okay. do and some verbs that we don't. So I yeah. think, guys, I'm going to send it to you, the rules, or we're going to double check it also tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. And the last but not least, Mariana, can you please be so kind to read for me sentence number three, please? Yes, teacher. How long have you been studying French? Excellent. And good job because you also put the right intonation. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So in this case, I'm asking something, guys. I'm, I want to know the duration of what activity? Of your French That's study, funny. right? Exactly. Of your French study. So in this case, if you see, guys, how we use the present perfect continuous, I want to yes. know... That is a repeated action or activity because you study French all the days. Or maybe not all the days, but I think all the weeks, right? So I just want to know. Sorry, but how I long. don't listen well. Oh, why? Because have the same. Ah, I think it's Tati. Tati. No. It's not Tati? Yes, it's Tati. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, do you understand the last question, guys? Yes? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, clear. And I want you to uh, congratulate, Mariana, because you use the correct intonation as a question, and also you use the correct intonation because, do you remember, guys, that what kind of question it is? What kind yeah. of question it is? What kind of question it is? Is it a just no question or information, information question? question? Exactly. Information. So, so you have to remember that the information question, the intonation goes up or the intonation goes down, guys. What do you think? What do you remember? Oh, goes out. Go down. Go down. Exactly. Go down. 
So all the information questions go down. The one that goes up are the just no questions, okay? Never forget that. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Excellent job. Let's move on. Let me double check something really quickly. There we go. Okay. Guys, I want to show you the structure. The structure of the present perfect continuous. Right now, I want to show you in a positive way. Okay. Um, as you can see, let me double check something really quickly. Oh, yeah, this one, this one. I'm going to use this one. Yes. As you can see, guys, first of all, we have the, um, the subject, right? It could be yes. I, we, you, they, whatever you want. Then we have the auxiliary verb have, or it could be has, right? Of course. I will show it to you in a moment. Yeah. Then it's going to be the present perfect or, or the past participle of the verb to be, which in this case is being. Then we have the main verb and we got the ing form and of course the complement. Alex, can you please read for me this sentence? Okay, we have been working together since last year. Okay, that means, guys, if you say that to uh, to Miguel, for example, that means, Alex, that last year you start working with him, right? Yeah. And right now you're continuing working with him. Is that yeah, right? We're, we're still mm -hmm. working together. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So you see how it works? You see, we have the subject, we have have, being is here. We got the verb, which is work, but you had to put in the ing form, who is working. And then we got the complement. Hey, take a look at this one, guys. Let me check. For present perfect, we can use either since or for. That depends on what we want to say. But this, this word is normally used in present perfect, okay? Or present perfect continuous. There you go. Let's move on to the third person, okay? Hey guys, which are the the third person singular? Uh huh. What is the third person singular? He, he she, or he, he, she, it. it exactly. So, he, it. as we have guys have or the other uh, subjects or pronouns, we will have has, has. for mm -hmm. the third person. Okay, never forget that. And of course, continue the past participle of the verb to be, the main verb, and the ing form. Hey, Janet, can you please be so kind to read for me the sentence, please? He has been painting his house for two hours. Ooh, that means that, what does it mean, Janet? That he was, uh, he Hour. started uh, mm -hmm. two hours ago. Mm-hmm to the pain his house and he, he is uh has he has finished he is continue he's continue exactly very painting. good job painting exactly very good job so this one guys is basically the structure of the present perfect continuum but as a positive sentence okay what about mm -hmm. as a question ah oh, of course let me go back to that one if you want to put it into negative guys you can do it but where you need to put that particularly not? What do you think? Yeah. Haven't. Ha hasn't. No. Hasn't. Exactly. Have so not. it has to be between the auxiliary have or has and the past, pa the past participle of the verb to be. Okay. You yeah. can say it has, you cannot say it has been not painting. No. It has hasn't been painting. Hasn't, hasn't or has, uh, or has, has not. not. Haven't or have not. not. That depends, okay? But mm -hmm. it has to be there in the middle. I have to let you know that. Okay, okay. let's continue yeah. right now with the questions. That is really important. Okay, cool. So let me raise this for not to get confused. Okay, what about the questions? Guys, do you remember that um, first we have the subject and then the verb have, right? And the regular yes. sentence. Okay, so here as a question, we're, have will be in the first place. Yeah. Because we're going to ask a question, but please, please, please never forget to put in a capital letter, the letter H. 
Why? Mm -hmm. Be because you are uh, starting a sentence or you're starting a question. So always have to be in capital, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we have to have the subject, whatever the subject is. Also guys, continuous being after the subject, the member, the ing, and the complement. Here it is. Uh, Alejandro, can you please be so kind to read for me the question? Um, yes. Um, have you been saving money lately? Very good. Hey, Alejandro. Tell, tell, and, and everybody, he said, have you been saving money lately? What kind of question do you think it is, guys? A just no question or an information question? A just no question. Exactly. Why? Because I ask him, this person, if if that person has, a, uh, has been saving money, right? Yeah. So... I want to know that. I don't want to know something else. So there's two ways that they uh, that that person can answer me. You can say, yes, no. I no. have. Yes, I have. I have no. been saving. You can say no. I have been saving money. Or also you can answer, uh, yes, I have been like that. Okay. So this one, guys, is... Uh, the direct answer for the question. Or you can say the opposite way. No, no. I haven't. Of course, have I not, right? I haven't, blah, 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 blah et cetera. Or you can say also, no, I have not. Ah, I, I forgot something here. There you go. Okay, cool. No, I haven't. No, I have not, okay? So, that is a direct question. That's why, guys, it's a yes, no question in present perfect continuous because the simple answer is yes or no. Yes, I haven't been saving. Yes, I have been. No, I haven't. No, I have not. But take a look at something, guys. You see what is between the yes and the and the letter I? Coma. Coma. Never forget the coma, please. When you write it, you said yes, coma. I have been saving. No, coma. I have not. Okay. Never forget that, please. When you write it and when you answer, it is easy when you answer in verbal way, right? But if you answer in writing, that's the way that you need to write. Okay. Punctuation in English is really important, at least for me. Well, for everybody, right? But yeah. for the teacher, well, I don't care about how you write in Spanish, but I do <clears throat> care how you write in English. And in English, you're going to write it correctly. So mm -hmm. why why I'm, I'm saying that to you guys? Because maybe tomorrow in our a game exercise reviewing information that we're going to do, you need to pay attention to my writings because I can give you a tricky things. You can say yeah. that it's perfect. But imagine that the question, uh, the first letter is in lowercase. Oops. Or you said, no, I haven't, but I forgot to put the comma. Or I forgot the period at the end of the sentence. It, it's, it looks good, but I, it could be wrong because of that. Because of that little thing. Because of the comma, because of the capital letter, because of the period. So you need to be very careful when you read it, okay? Oh, okay. That is like I give you a tip. Okay, guys. So, okay, this is the speaking time. Yay! Okay. It's speaking time. Yes, mm -hmm. because we're going to speak or to speak either or. Okay, so guys, the speaking time. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now? Uh, 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 okay, what can we do here? Ah, yes, let's split it. How many we are? We are seventeen without me, right? Okay, how many girls we have? Oh, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six poor little boys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight girls. Okay, so let's do it a girl versus boys, right? 
Okay. Hey. That's not fair, teacher. Mm. <laughs> well, well it, talking about quantity, no, but talking about knowledge, yes, of course. So this is what I'm going to do. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me send you the questions that we're going to use because, guys, this is a speaking time. So we're going to speak about um, um, some questions. All questions, guys, will be information questions. That okay. means that I will need more than a simple yes and a simple no. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a speaking activity. Oh, there are three questions. I will send it to you right now. And basically, guys, what I want you to do is to use those questions to talk between you. Okay? Using present perfect continuous. Did you receive it already? Yep? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. cool. So we make it two groups and I'm going to assign it right now. So first we're going to do the voice. Let me check. Juancito, Manuel, Miguel, Kike, Rafa. Okay. And then I got Beatriz and all the girls. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we are, we are not. No. Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay, guys. Accept the invitation, please. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, you got accept the invitation? Yeah, okay. Hernanda, Giselle, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Uh, well, in my, form, in my case, I have been learning English for uh, eight years. For, for about a year. Yeah. Okay. Eight years. Uh, studying a lot of this. <laughs> okay. What about you, Alejandro? What about you, Rafael? Okay, like that. More interaction. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> what about you, Miguel Franco? Um, I have been learning English for six years. For about six years. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, for me, in this case, for about uh, two years and a half, I, I put... Uh, uh, yeah, um, you know some some other. How, how do you say? I put uh, more, 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 more. Uh, I, I forget to say, but you forgot I, to say I, I what started, is exactly what you're trying to say? Yeah. Uh -huh. I I study mornings, you know, trying to trying to put more. Um, more book it was. Uh, yeah, you know, trying to learn in mornings, evenings, yeah. Okay. An extra effort. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Extra effort. yeah. Everything Very you good. can. <laughs> An extra mile. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Somebody else? <laughs> I don't know, Juancito, maybe. I want to hear Juancito, your beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Juan. Hi. 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 Learning English. All uh, right, question. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay. Ask me a question. Oh, ask ask them the question, please. How long have you been studying English? <laughs> How long have you been studying uh, English? Um. Well, I I have been learn for eight months. Oh, okay. For eight months. Yes. Eight months, okay. That's okay. What about you, Rafael? Uh, hey. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, I've been learning English for English Corporativo for two years. Good, good. Three years, okay. For two, two years. Uh, two years. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. uh, for internet. 
Okay. Via yeah, internet. Okay. What about you, Rafael? Let's continue, guys. Uh, Let me yeah, check the other guys. I, I have been learning. How's it going? Is it good? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Which, which question <laughs> you are right now? Already number three? <laughs> We're in the second question. Second, cool. We're in the second, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, let's listen. Okay. Um, the first one, we think, can we use this answer? Like, I've been, I'm oh, sorry. I've been learning English. I have been. Since, since um, I have a question in this teacher. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Because I always think if we use the word since, we have to mention the year. Exactly. And if we use for, we have to mention the how many years. The quantity, of course. Mm -hmm. Like I've been learning English for five years. Mm -hmm. And if we use since, we can say I've been learning English since 2020. So you, uh, for example, uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly the same, but the difference is the first one you are specifying the time, and the other one you specify when, you, when you started. It. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yes, You're welcome. I have a question. Yes, Vane. Uh, but it is correct to say I have been learning English science two years ago. Mm, since two years ago. Yeah. Okay. You can do it as well. Okay. What are you tired? What have you been doing? So I I have been working for two days continue. For two huh? Are you uh, well, to number three? No, number two. Huh? Oh, come on. Number two. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Go ahead. I'm not here. Well, I'm not here. Uh, I'm tired because um, I have a busy day mm -hmm. on my job. Uh, I'm sorry, on my in my interview job. So okay. I drive. I drive from Santa Ana to America, not to San Andres Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. uh, okay. For the interview, then when I'm coming back to my business with my yeah uh, i'm coming back to my business and i painting i'm painting some tables <laughs> oh. yeah so we come late uh doing some exercise and so that's what i'm tired okay okay i feel good that's <laughs> yeah. important yeah somebody else kicker uh, Are you tired? Oh, well, um, I'm I'm a tired uh, because yeah, I work in San Salvador mm -hmm. and I live in Santa Ana. I have to travel every day. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah. So no, no. Then, uh, then uh, when I finish. My job, I have to, I have to travel to Santa Ana, and the traffic is very hard. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, very very hard. And heavy. I, heavy, I, heavy traffic. I, I come back to my house to, for example, uh, 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And after that, uh, uh, I. I need help my children to to do uh, the homework. his homework, mm -hmm. and after that, I have to dinner, etc., 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 etc. Do you prefer the dinner, Kike? Uh, um, or no? Sorry. Do you prefer the dinner? No. Your Thank wife. God, now my oh. wife. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I I have to prepare the clothes. Uh, For the next day. Uh huh. The next day, 
to my wife, my child, my children, my, and I, mm -hmm. and and go to the bed uh, eleven. Oof. Do you do you iron do you iron the, the clothes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wonderful! My Congratulations, uniform. my friend. Excellent. My uniform. <laughs> That's I don't cool. like this. I don't yeah, like good. this. Oh. Uh, I know, me neither, Angel, but <laughs> we right. have to do it, right? Good question. Good question. Yes, good question. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to bed at yeah, uh, 11 p.m. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, Only that. Is so. Oh, that yeah. is all. It's time to go back together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, teacher. Enough talking. I'm over. <laughs> Okay, I got Angel, I do have Mariana, Mr. Alex, um, Janet, Raphael, Miguel, cool, Kiki. Yes, yes, we're good. Uh, Tati, yeah, with Lulu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beatrice, yeah. Juancito, cool. Iris also, very good, excellent. Uh, hey, I'm missing people. <laughs> Where are them? Uh huh, Van is coming, yeah. Who else? Beatrice. Yeah. Uh huh. Amazing people. Where are the other four guys? Okay. Uh -huh. Alejandrito. <laughs> Alrighty. We have Noria. Very good. We have Rachel. Great. Mr. Miss Giselle Hernandez. Good. Okay. And the teacher. Where is the teacher? I'm here. Let's go. Hey, guys. How was the exercise? It was <clears throat> good. Yeah, yes. cool. did you like it? Cool. We didn't have enough time. Yeah, it was I good. know. I know. Yes, I gave you that because I want you guys not only to to practice what we have seen in class, but also to get to know each other a little bit much better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And always, guys, you have to speak English with me. Thank you, Alex, mm -hmm. that you didn't speak Spanish today. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. And, okay. But very yeah. good job, guys. I have listened to uh, all of you speaking English, okay. and uh, I'm so proud. Very good job. Thanks. Thank you. You have improved. Nice. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Very nice. good on the pronunciation and the intonation. Very good on the vocabulary. There are some things that we need just to uh, to okay. polish a little bit, right? Or to clear yeah, a little okay. bit. For example, sometimes we ended up to teacher. confuse. Uh, oh, yo, thank you, Kike. We oh, ended up to confuse, for example, how we say the, the things in English. For example, you said, um, there's the one people that says, let me check, uh, busy day, you know, days busy, something like that. But you, oh. had to, but you had to remember that in the Spanish, is in the opposite way. First is the adjective, and then is the noun. Um, in and Spanish, the uh -huh. exactly. Traffic all the hard or heavy traffic okay heavy yes or you can mm -hmm. also say car in a rush that is an expression i was caught in a rush car in a rush yes in a that rush. is that 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 is for example when you you cannot arrive on time in one place because there was heavy traffic that you mm -hmm. cannot move any place you have cars in front, you have cars in the back, you have cars in your in both sizes. Yeah. So you're mm -hmm. stuck in the traffic. Yeah. You're stuck in the traffic. You said, I was caught in a rush. That is an expression that we use. Like there was heavy and I couldn't move, man. So I'm sorry I'm late, but I was caught in a rush. Okay? Cut it out. Cut car, it out. car in a rush. Cut in a rush, okay. Mm -hmm. um, could you spell, please? No. <laughs> Please. Could you spell? Ah uh, yes, I will. I will. I will write it. I wrote it. I was caught in a rush. Okay. I was right. Great reading. Very different. Okay. Yes, Angel. Right? Yes, my man, Angel. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. A rush, okay. Cut in a rush. That <laughs> means rush. Uh, exactly that. That that means, for example, that you were in a rush, right? You because you wanted to to arrive 
early, uh, okay, but okay. you were covered like yeah, so, something stop you, right? If you want to yeah. like translate it literally, but when you say caught in a rush, that means that you're stuck in the traffic and you cannot move, even though you want to do, you cannot do anything. You're stuck there, and until everybody moves, you're going to move, right? Yeah. Okay. That is an expression that you will use. Hey, so you're going to learn, or oh, you have learned a new a new expression, guys. A new expression, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. cat in a rush. Cat in, in a rush. Okay, very good. <laughs> hey, we, I know it is too late. Hmm. Okay, yes, because I'm going to leave it for tomorrow. Okay. Hey, do you remember that yesterday we saw the adverbs to tell tell stories? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the teacher had not forget it. Okay, <laughs> then I decide not to talk up, not to talk about that today. Or teacher not is to a good a person. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, but I'm not, <laughs> not just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. I'm trying to be nice with you. Why? Because uh, today's topic it was really important. It was really, really important. The present perfect continuous. And you see that that is easy, right? Yeah. It's not complicated. Yeah. It's not complicated. All that you got to do is how to use it and what is the structure of the sentences and which yeah. verbs you use it, especially the auxiliary ones. Because in English, we have two, uh, three main auxiliaries. Remember, the verb to be, the do, and the have. Those are the three main ones. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So it's really important. Yeah, that's why I decided not to touch that topic today or to make a refresh about yesterday's topic because this one, it was really, really important. All that I wanted to show you guys, if you have any minutes, um, I will send you a, a, a picture right now on the WhatsApp uh, just to help you with what we have uh, start talking in the beginning about the present perfect, remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I'm, I will show you a, a picture that will give you a more explanation about the difference between regular present perfect, right, with the one that we already know, and the present perfect continuous, the one that we have seen today. So we have a three ways to use them, and also we have an example per situation. Okay, so in this case, it will help you uh, have a clear information about the two and not to confuse them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, any doubts, guys? Any questions so far? So good? Everything is good. We are, we are clear. We are clear. It's okay, teacher. Like water or la horchata? <laughs> like water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so like mean, Bani. Like okay, okay. Tamarindo. Like this, oh, like okay, like this. tamarindo. All right. <laughs> but Thanks, more tamarindo. water than tamarindo. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. At least I'm Alex is honest, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, I will say oh, that information in a moment, okay? Hugs uh -huh. hey, and kisses. You. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.